another lip makeup look today i don't really know what i want to go for i'm gonna start off with an eyebrow tutorial and then following that i'm gonna do a makeup look so to begin i want to push my hair back you know kind of get comfy for me so i'm just gonna pin my hair back and we'll begin so i already moisturized i'm gonna spray my face with amara badescu rose water now for primer i'm gonna be using the Too faced hangover i really love this it's like the best I gotta get a new one. Okay, so to start on my eyebrows, I'm gonna use the number 12 brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm also gonna be going into the pomade. This is a medium brown. So next, I'm going to underline. worry about how straight it is because we're gonna carve it out with concealer anyways now for the top line I'm gonna go farther back a little now I'm gonna take some product and fill in my eyebrows When I get to the front, I'm going to kind of like feather because I'm going for like kind of like a faded look. So I'm just going to fill it in and feather in the front. So now I'm going to take the spoolie and brush the front. This will make it look like it's faded. I'm gonna fast forward everything on this eyebrow. Okay, so I know they look crazy right now, but we're gonna fix them. To carve out my eyebrows, I'm gonna use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is in the shade Medium 28, and I'm gonna mix that with the Makeup Revolution C1. So with the concealer on the brush, I'm gonna carefully carve out my eyebrows. So you just want to be super careful. It takes a lot of practice to get this, but I promise you guys, like, you'll get it. You just have to take your time. I will also be dragging the concealer down to my crease, and I'm going to do the same thing to the top.
but I realized that I made this one a little too thin so what I do is I go back in with the dipper out and I just go over where I messed up Now I'm going to take this Raw Techniques fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend all this together. All I'm doing is just buffing the front of the eyebrow. That kind of gives it like a faded look. I'm not gonna like directly go down. I'm just gonna blend it like this. Same thing for this side. I'm just gonna go outwards. Now sometimes I feel like one is shorter than the other, so what I do is I take the spoolie and I'll just brush lightly in the front and that kind of makes it long. Okay, so with an angled brush, this is by MAC, I'm going to go into my Nubian by Juvia's and I'm going to dip into this darkest shade right here. And I'm going to put this only at the end of the eyebrow. I'm gonna make sure that I blend this towards the front. I do this because I feel like it helps with the faded look. Like you can see the difference. Look at that. That's a really good tip. The same thing with the other eyebrow. So with that same concealer, I'm going to spread it all over my lid. And I'm going to blend this out using the Real Techniques Blender. So I'm going to go into the air spoon with the Real Techniques Blender. Okay, so this is what I came up with. This is how it looks. So I did this eye off camera only because I didn't really know what I wanted to go for. Now that I know, I can show you what I did. I really like it. I don't know. I got a little glitter wing going on. Neon. How I did this. I'm using the Zulu by Juvia's and I'm gonna go into this yellow shade right here. I'm gonna start high up on my crease with this yellow. I'm gonna be doing this in side to side and circular motions. 
I'm then going to go into this orange shade right here using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH33 brush. Same thing for this color, I'm going to go side to side motions. One I'm applying, once I'm ready to start blending, I'm going to go in circular motions. I'm going to go back into the yellow. With the Morphe M506 brush, I'm going to go into the Masquerade by Juvia's and I'm going to dip into Zobo. I'm now going to go back into that orange shade and just blend this color together. I'm also going to go back into the yellow. Now to cut my crease, I'm going to go into the ColourPop No Filter in Fair Zero. This is the all white. I'm going to go ahead in with a flat brush and cut my crease. Now I'm going to fill it in. You guys, it takes a lot of practice to do a cut crease, but I promise if you keep on practicing, you'll get it. Cutting your crease takes so much practice, but you guys, I promise you, if you practice at least once or twice a week on doing a cut crease, you'll get that like within a month. All you really have to do is know where to cut your crease, that's all. I'm just going to pat this in evenly so that when we put our pigment on, it won't be like blotchy, you know? So now with like a flat, fluffy brush, I don't know what this is called. Oh, it's from e.l.f. I'm going to go in with the Mayo Makeup Neon Pigments. Mine broke, but they still work. I'm gonna go in with this red one and then just gently pack this on. So I'm gonna go in with the M506 and just dust this off of the top. Going back into the shade, I'm going to take a Morphe M506. I'm going to take that shade and I'm going to blend where I cut my crease and my eyeshadow. So now going into the Morphe and James Charles, I'm going to dip into this black shade and apply that to the same spot. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to wipe this away. Alright, so next I'm going to be applying glitter to my crease and I'm also going to do a wing. So, I'm going to be going into the Stella 
This is in Diamond Dust. This is the MAC 210 and it's a liner brush. So I'm going to start by drawing a line. Now I'm going to pop this eyelash on. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Better Than Sex. And what I like to do is press them together just to make sure that there's no gap in between. All right, we pop in. Okay. So now moving on to foundation, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline New York. This is the Super Stay in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. So this one I know is too light for me. But we're gonna fix it once we get into the contouring part. I'm gonna blend this all together using my sponge by Real Techniques. Now for concealer, I'm gonna go into the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This one's in the shade Light 14. I like to set under my eyes before I go into the contouring part, so I'm going to go in with my air sponge and make sure that this is nice and set. I'm also going to pack some extra on there. Now using my matte contouring palette, I'm going to go into these two shades right here. I'm going to be applying this to the deepest areas of my face to give it that shadow look. I'm also going to do my nose. And I'm also going to put it under my lips to make my lips appear bigger. You'll see what I mean once I blend it out. So I'm going to take this MAC 170 foundation brush to blend this all together. With contouring, you want to kind of pat it and then drag 
because you want to keep it in the spot where you put it you just want it to be obviously blended in now when I'm ready to blend I'm gonna go in circular motion So I'm gonna go on my beauty blender. I kind of go back and forth with the blush and the blender just to give it the best blend. I'm then gonna take my foundation and a flat brush and kind of perfect this line here. my blender to blend this together. And then taking a fluffy brush, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my nose. And taking my beauty blender, I'm gonna blend any harsh edges. So now I'm going to dust away the air sponge. Now I'm going to go back into this yellow. Drag that all down the bottom. I'm going to take this yellow far down. and that purple shade that I used. So if you got some follow like I did, just take a fluffy brush and some setting powder and just wipe that away. I'm gonna go on with the Too Faced Chocolate Matte Bronzer. I want to like brighten up right here, so I'm going in with the MAC Light Plus Skin Finish Powder. So 
So now I'm gonna go in with a small brush and dipping into the Saharan by Juvia's. I'm gonna go in with this white shimmer shade right here. To highlight my brow bone, I'm gonna go in with this shade from the Morphe and James Charles. I'm also going to be taking a little bit of this white. So back to the face again. I'm going to go in to the NYX blush palette. I'm going to dip into these two shades right here with a big fluffy brush. Moving on from all the powder, I'm going to spray my face with the Marl Badescu Rose Water again. I do this to make sure that my skin stays nice and dewy and I like to make it look like my face is wet. I like that glow. So we're going to keep it really dewy, really natural looking. But I'm going to try to avoid my eyes when I spray this because I have like a matte color on my eyelids. For highlight, I'm going to go in with the MRZ from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I do when I apply my highlight. So I take any spray, rose water, aloe, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to spray my beauty blender and apply it to the area where I'm about to highlight it. This helps it go on really nice and like metallic kind of. Now I'm going to set this in place using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Now I'm going to dry that setting mist with my fan. And then I'm going to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. Moving on to the lips, I'm going to go in with some lip liner and Beeper from Colourpop. it for today's tutorial so I went ahead and I fixed my hair up a little bit but this is the final result I'm really liking it it's really different just came up with it I didn't really know what to do but I hope you guys liked it if you guys did go ahead and give me a like a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you guys want you guys can turn on the post notifications because I'm going to be posting a lot more. I haven't been posting a lot because a lot of you guys know that I graduated beauty school. But I promise I will be coming up with a lot more looks. You guys should give me some ideas on what to do next. And yeah, I'll just see you guys next time. Thank you.